COVID-19 vaccination. Current progress. Singapore is currently mainly focusing on inoculating seniors aged 70 and above, as well as vital workers in at-risk occupations. The goal is for the whole population of Singapore to be vaccinated by the third quarter of 2021. How do the vaccines work? The Pfizer BioNTech vaccine, which is approved for use here, uses a relatively new method involving mRNA, which is also what Moderna's vaccine uses. This method has not been used in any prior vaccines. The vaccine works by utilizing mRNA containing the genetic code of the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19 to manipulate normal body cells to manufacture portions of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, but not the whole virus as it could replicate if completed. These virus parts will trigger a immune response that can be sometimes quite severe. The mRNA is fragile and hence requires lower temperatures to stay functional, making the transport of such vaccines difficult. On the other hand, Sinovac's vaccine is an inactivated vaccine, which is one of the more traditional forms of a vaccine, having been formerly used in the rabies vaccine. Inactivated vaccines consists of pieces of killed SARS-CoV-2 virus, which uh, when injected will also trigger an immune response. As the virus is dead, it is likely, uh, it is less likely, sorry, to result in a serious immune response, resulting in less adverse reactions, but also lowering the efficacy of the vaccine as the immune system does not fight the virus when it is alive. Overall, all vaccines will result in a person's immune cells learning how to recognize the SARS-CoV-2 virus and remembering how to defeat them so that the immune system can respond faster and more effectively if the person gets infected by the virus for real. Why the elderly take priority? As a person ages, their immune cells become less efficient, thus the elderly are most likely to develop severe complications when they get COVID-19. For instance, 80% of deaths in the US due to COVID-19 were adults aged 65 and older. Possible Adverse Effects of COVID-19 Vaccines Worldwide, it was found that there were 11.1 anaphylactic reactions per million doses for the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, while there were 2.5 anaphylactic reactions per million doses for the Moderna vaccine. Anaphylaxis is defined as a serious allergic reaction to something. In Singapore, out of the 113,000 people vaccinated, 432 adverse reactions and 3 anaphylactic reactions were recorded. Adverse reactions include injection site pain and swelling, fever, headache, fatigue, body aches, giddiness, nausea, and allergic reactions such as itching, rashes, and swelling of eyes or lips. Anaphylactic reactions include rash, breathlessness, lip swelling, throat tightness, and giddiness, all of which are more severe than regular adverse reactions. People suffering from adverse and anaphylactic reactions had all recovered after at most one day in the hospital. There are safeguards in place at vaccination sites to provide prompt treatment in the event of severe adverse reactions like anaphylaxis. Contrary to some claims, mRNA vaccines do not modify cell DNA, as mRNA is basically instruction sheets for cells to produce virus parts that are destroyed after being read. This means that mRNA vaccines do not cause mutations and are relatively safe to use. Why should all Singaporean residents get vaccinated? Singapore's economy is dependent on global trade and therefore must keep its seaports and airports open and operational at all times, exposing us to COVID-19 from the outside world. As global cases continue to climb and repeatedly reintroduce COVID-19 into the resident population, the only way to prevent the virus spread is to achieve herd immunity. The herd immunity threshold is at about 80 to 90%. Due to the emergence of more contagious variants from the UK and South Africa, 
viruses cannot replicate themselves outside of a living host. So vaccinating the population can sever the spread of COVID-19 and reduce the mutation rate of SARS-CoV-2. Who cannot take the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine? The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine is not recommended for children aged 16 or younger, pregnant women, the severely immunocompromised, and people with a history of severe allergic reactions like anaphylaxis. How Singapore procured its vaccines At the beginning of April 2020, Singapore started by identifying four types of vaccines out of the eight to nine types being developed globally that it thought would be more effective. These types are RNA RNA vaccines, untested at the time, but later used by Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna. Viral vector, used in the Ebola vaccine. Inactivated virus, used in flu vaccines. And protein subunits, used in the whooping cough vaccine. This allowed Singapore to shortlist more than 40 companies, with the expected success rate for the vaccine candidates being roughly 10%. Singapore wanted to ensure that it invested its money into vaccines that were most likely to succeed, so Singapore took advantage of its global network, utilising the Economic Development Board, Tamasic, and other Singaporean contacts in the scientific and medical community to approach key figures in the firms developing vaccines. Most of the companies on Singapore's shortlist agreed to sell their vaccines to Singapore if successful, and after Singapore signed non-disclosure agreements, they gave Singapore direct access to elite personnel in charge of the projects. Singapore also had access to test data before they were officially published. The Health Sciences Authority conducted in-person checks to ensure the quality of vaccine trials. As time went on, the number of companies remaining on the shortlist dwindled to 20 in July 2020 and to just 12 to 14 in September 2020. Singapore signed adver advanced purchase agreements with some companies. Advanced purchase agreements are contracts where each time a vaccine being developed reaches a certain milestone, the buyer has to make a payment. Though Singapore could lose its investment entirely if a vaccine ultimately did not work out, if the vaccine succeeds, Singapore would be placed at the front of the queue for the vaccine when it is produced.